Hi, I'm Andy Alloway. I'm the owner of Nebraska Realty. And we're, we're starting to approach the end of 2017 here. We had another really uh, kind of banner year in the real estate market, both locally and nationally. Uh, we'll probably be close to a, a, another record year, but probably not quite hit it. And the only reason is, is because of that inventory. The inventory continues to be down, but the demand is, is sky high right now. A lot of great economic conditions surrounding housing, and that's something that's a big driver in our economy. So it's been another really good year. And we anticipate another really good next uh, year next year. So let's take a look at uh, Realtor.com put out their 2018 housing forecast. I'll take a, a quick look at uh, what might be coming up here in 2018 on the national uh, scene. So they anticipate for the first time an uptick of homes uh, in terms of inventory, probably really the first time in the last five or six years, because uh, each year, uh, month over month, year over year, that inventory has fallen over the last five or six years, which is good. It needed to come down initially, but it has put some some strains on if you've been out looking for a house there's not a lot out there especially in price ranges under 300 350,000 and it, it's caused a little bit of an artificial price appreciation definitely some uh, bidding wars on properties so while there's some good things with that uh, having some relief in the market in terms of inventory is really a welcome change and uh, hopefully that comes to fruition next year uh, some of the other uh, key housing indicators, 3.2% uh, price, uh, percent price increase in home price appreciation. That's actually down from 2017 and really from the last uh, you know, four or five years where it's been about five, five and a half percent. Uh, so a little bit of an easing on home price appreci appreciation, which is good uh, because if you continue at those rates, housing becomes unaffordable at some point. So to level off is a good thing. Housing starts, both multifamily overall and then single family starts are projected to grow 3% and 7% respectively. Uh, this is also good. At our, at our peak in terms of housing, prior to pre-recession levels, we were, we were building about 1.8 million new homes per year, which really contributed to the inventory. Um, we we get, went down significantly, and we've been kind of creeping back up ever since to the point now this year we did about 800,000. Next year we'll do about 850,000 new construction homes, but we need about another million just to continue with population growth, urbanization. We're not building enough homes to put back into the market uh, in, in addition to the existing home sales that are also increasing. So uh, we definitely need more new construction and that is on the, on the rise, which is good. Um, projected home ownership rate, 63.9%. That again is on its uptick. It was at the low point in the last 30 years in the second quarter of 2016. We have steadily started to raise that, which is awesome. And uh, so, uh, you know, I think you, you look at millennials are still citing almost 90% of them that part of their uh, American dream is to own a home. And to see that home ownership rate go up, there are so many benefits that go along with it, wealth creation and just overall stronger communities. So that's a good sign to see two and a half percent increase in uh, existing home sales uh, that, that again is good we're going to continue to increase home sales not just in new construction but existing and then the mortgage uh, average mortgage rate about 4.6 percent so this is uh, again an uptick in that uh, about the last eight or ten years we've seen sub four percent mortgage rates so they are going to start going up they anticipate by the end of the year maybe even five percent which again if price appreciation continues to go and then mortgage uh, um, uh, average mortgage rates go up then you start to look at a little more unaffordability, but I think it's a good thing. Uh, it shows economic conditions are improving uh, and 4.6% compared to if you bought a home in the 80s, you know at 17, 18, 19% interest rate, 4.6% is, is really good. Um, so as we, we uh, keep going, take a look at this, they're predicting uh, September is kind of the first time we're gonna see in probably the last five or six years, an actual increase in uh, inventory year over year. Uh, so again, that would be good. $350,000 price homes and up are gonna be the majority of the inventory growth. We're under that, you're probably gonna still see flat or less inventory. So we really gotta figure out and tackle this problem of affordable housing. That's something we're really passionate about, we're working on right now, uh, and it's gotta happen. So $350,000 and up, you're gonna see an easing of inventory, of more choices out there for people. And for all my uh, friends in Kansas City, I, I got a lot of them down there. Um, it looks like you're one of the first cities to recover and get more inventory in the market. So that's exciting to see more options for you if you're looking at going out and buying a house. Um, 
And then we talked about the, the price appreciation in 17, about 5.5% versus 3.2%. So it's, it'll, it'll slow a little bit, uh, you know, impre increasing price gains in entry-level homes, which is true because there's still going to be less inventory out there. So if you're looking at those homes under 300,000, those are still going to be increasing at higher than normal levels. So a, a good easing is actually good for the market because you get too artificially uh, uh, high-priced. And then the last thing to look at is, is millennials. They are the largest consumer purchasing group in the history of this nation. And uh, last year, in 2017, this year, they took out, they accounted for 40% of all mortgage applications. And next year, they're going to account for 43%, and it's going to keep going. So this is, uh, it's a good sign to see that the millennials are, are in full force in the market. Uh, I, I think that shows that the economy is doing well, that they're buying homes. And, and again, I think there's all kinds of benefits to that wealth creation, stronger communities, as I, as I mentioned. So uh, it, it's, it looks like another good year in 2018. Uh, if you have any other questions on, on this or anything else and, and as it relates to the, the trends, uh, don't hesitate to give us a call. Thanks for watching today.